Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Today's video, we are talking about the one thing we all need. The skill of how to kill your comfort zone. Yeah, this feels good. I will not be sitting in my comfort zone and talk about how to kill your comfort zone. And also, I don't have a professional studio like other professional YouTubers do and they sit in their studio and talk about this kind of stuff and with great lightings in their background. So instead, I will do it like it's a vlog. So let's continue. Getting out of the comfort zone can be really challenging, but it's a great way to grow, learn, and expand your horizons. But first, you have to identify your comfort zone. Consider the areas of your life where you feel safe and comfortable. It could be related to your work, your social interactions, your hobbies, your personal habits. Because recognizing your comfort zone is the first step to breaking free from it. All right, so here are some tips and tricks which I am applying personally in my life and it really works. Set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve by stepping out of your comfort zone. Having specific goals will provide you with a sense of direction and motivation. And make sure your goals are realistic and achievable, but still challenging enough to push you out of your comfort zone. And start with small steps. Getting out of your comfort zone doesn't mean you have to dive into the deep right away. So yeah, start with small steps. It could be as simple as trying a new food, taking a different route to work, or striking up a conversation with a stranger. You know, these small acts can build the momentum you need for more significant changes. And let me share a few more strategies. And this is my favorite one, to break out of your comfort zone. It's to feel the fear and do it anyway. This is called the three second rule. The three second rule is where you take action on something within three seconds. Like a lot of times when we think of doing something which will make us move out of our comfort zone, but then we just make an excuse in our mind. Like, okay, I don't have enough time to do it, or I will do it tomorrow. Just don't listen to that complainer in your head. You feel like working out? Great, use the three second rule here. Put your shoes on, go to the nearest gym, take a membership and start working out. You feel like filming a video? Cool, turn on your camera and start talking. Just don't overthink about things you wanna do and then you just get lazy when the time comes. You know, the three second rule is the best decision making strategy to make you break out of your comfort zone. Of course, this can go too far, you know. I'm not saying you wanna get investing, then just put all your money in stocks or crypto within three seconds. No, use common sense here. The goal here is to use efforts, energy, and guts, and not the inner complainer in your head that will always talk you out of certain stuff. Strategy number two, set goals. Visualize success. Imagine yourself like achieving something you have always wanted to do but felt too scared to try. Set a clear goal related to this vision and break it down into achievable steps. You're never too old to set a new goal or dream a new dream. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Here's the third and the last strategy. Surround yourself with support. It's to build a network of supportive people who can inspire you and encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. Seek mentors or friends or like-minded people who have successfully navigated their comfort zone. Their encouragement, guidance and accountability will provide motivation and help you stay on track. Having good mentors or friends plays a crucial role in shaping a successful future. So choose your mentors wisely and friends very carefully. That was it for today. Whatever I said or shared, I've applied all these. I've applied all these to get out of my comfort zone. I was a very uh, in love with my comfort zone. And now I'm in love with the discomfort. I like it. While making this video, I've learned a lot of things. And whatever I've said, and I think I've repeated all these things in my life again. Like, I was being kind of lazy for a few days, but then, yeah, whatever I said inspired me as well and uh, I would be really happy even if one person of my followers or my friends or my subscribers get inspired by this video I'll be really glad I'll be I'll be so happy it's gonna be something very big for me of course I'm not a motivational speaker I'm just trying to be a better version of myself and I'm sharing it with you guys so I hope you guys like it and hopefully we'll see you on the next vlog it was not a kind of vlog but it is what it is I enjoyed making it and I'm hoping the same. You can share your favorite part or the sh you can share your favorite strategy of this video and share it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next vlog.